Hey guys, and welcome to the Igloo today. Today we're going to be showing our bridge trap base that we're going to have in our configuration. Now, the point of this trap base is so that you can actually keep your base safe as well as for your high value materials. Now, this is going to be a three different tier setup. It's going to be a bridge explosive base. It's going to be a tier 1 to tier 2 different kind of explosive radius base. So if somebody's going to be trying to break into uh, your top tier base, that they their explosives would make your base unraidable because it would be too far between the objectives. As well as then stage 3, which would be trap, which would be at the exact bottom of the actual bridge. So you have three different versions of what you can do for this base. The, the point of this is to have a versatile base as well as everything. As you can see from what we're having here is that we're going to be making the pillars so that we can actually make uh, the structure sounds. Once you have the spacing just right, you should only have at least one to two pillars that would be able to be uh, using it as a trap. Now this first one was a failed attempt because I was experimenting with this design. It's kind of weird that you can actually trigger another explosive even though it's not even really close to it. So this is when I'm going to be working on my next configuration for the design with one of them set. Success! I did it! So now we're going to be able to set up the next portion of this is the actual trap itself. Same kind of design as what I did earlier with using walls in a tier kind of setup foundation. So at least you will be able to get the person if they're going to be trying to do a raid to your base. Uh, because the only other way is to starve them out, to kill them while dropping down, or if they're going to be trying to use explosives themselves, that they would have to use their valuable resources because now they failed and they just jumped down the pit so that they would prevent the people that they're raiding in order to get this actual preset done. See, the point is is to confuse them, make sure to make them think it's a trap base, a bridge base, and a couple other things so that the only thing that can actually get to you is an avatar. The point is to capture people to get their resources if they're trying to raid you. And that's the whole point about the door being open on the bridge, the same kind of configuration down here. This is just an entry if you want to be able to get them and kill them in the little fight pit because they're not going to have much on afterwards if you wait them out and you get them to like drain their resources while you are keeping them in the trap because otherwise they have to log out. Now if your server permits then they'll be logged out unconscious on the floor and that would be your time to strike them. So either way depending on the server would most likely give you the advantage and either way they would just drop right down again. Now here's my final result blows up as much of the bridge as possible so that they can just jump straight down and be able to get everything else done and set. Now there's a little glitch that I just saw there that you can jump inside the pillar. But here we're going to be testing out the theory for that. So now that they are in the pit and they're trying to get out, they're going to need probably around three explosives with the tier two in order to actually get out for themselves. So that means the resources that were spent trying to raid you are now going to be spent for them to try and get the hell out if they do have the resources. So that's three explosives that take forever to get as well. Because explosives with demon blood, depending on your rank. Now I'm just doing the other side for shits and games. And there you have it, guys. Now we have 
everything that was exploded between the top, the bottom, everything else. We made sure that we tested it, we debunked it, we were able to set our traps up, we were able to have the most efficient way to blow up the bridge on top of everything else. And as you can see here, this is the engineering walls that you have in the exact same spots that are needed. Now, again, this is used to not only trap the raiders, but also to protect yourself. If you have any other questions, please like, comment, and share down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.